40 years on, what does the Falklands mean to you? Uh, are you? Are you proud of what you've achieved? Yeah, I'm, I'm incredibly proud of what we did down there. Uh, it, it could have so easily have been a different story. The night of the, uh, the first major battles, our position, uh, we just had a couple of helicopters landing, had the commanding officers from all the major units who were going into battle that night to get the final briefings, and we were hit by seven Skyhawks, and they dropped a lot of ordnance on our position. Um, how we didn't lose anybody or gotten seriously injured, I don't know, but they destroyed their helicopters. If their bombs had been slightly left or slightly right, it would have killed the commanding officers and the brigade commander. And if that had happened, the whole Falcon scenes could have been a completely different thing. I mean, at that point, we were getting very low on food and fuel and ammunition because the Atlantic conveyor uh, was, was sunk and that had all our supplies and helicopters on it. So it was a close run thing, but I think our our determination and training, both Royal Marines, Parachute Regiment, and you know, other units from the Army, that put us in a good place to succeed. And I'm incredibly proud of what we did down there. Yeah, I'm proud of what, I, what we all achieved, you know. Um, it was a big effort from the UK to go back down and to kick the Argentinians out, basically. I'm glad we did it for the people. I'm proud of what we did, very proud of what we did. What lessons do you think new recruits like me could learn from your experiences in the Falklands? Look after yourself, look after your kit, remember what you've been taught, and it will all fall into place when you least expect, but when you most need it. Your kit, your equipment that you've got, that's what's gonna keep you alive. You get taught in training, it needs to become second nature. If it is second nature, it's just so much easier to be able to concentrate on who's trying to shoot at you rather than, you know, how you need to operate your weapon. Have you been uh, back to the islands in peacetime? I have. I was very fortunate uh, to be the detachment sergeant major for HMS Endurance and had a week in the Falklands, did a bit of field firing, a bit of training with the detachment. Uh, and then went to the memorial uh, in Stanley. Uh, yeah, it was quite moving, quite a moving experience going down there. When you're reading names on the memorial of people that you know, it, it touches you. What were the most significant advances we've made as a result of the conflict? I think there's been a lot of advances in communications. We took a whole new communication suite with us that was uh, totally unused. First time we had uh, proper secure uh, communications. Like encrypted? Yeah, fully encrypted uh, comms. That was the first time we'd ever used it. The advances in equipment are absolutely phenomenal. Our webbing equipment, 1959, that's when that was introduced. So we were nearly 20 years on. Medics, knowledge, it's absolutely second to none. Yeah, it's you know, really good now. A lot of guys that um, in uh, wars after um, the Falklands, they benefited from what was learned in the Falklands by the medics, because they learned a heck of a lot dealing with the casualties that we had there. I think weapon systems you've got now are just superb. The, the night vision stuff, you know, big, big, big advances. Yeah. You know, that would have, the, the, the night vision side of it would have made a massive difference. Um, I guess your story with the uh, grenade would Yeah, have been exactly. There. You know, if we'd have had the night vision stuff that you had, um, then, you know, we, it, it would have been a lot easier. What was your career like after the Falklands? I stayed in the Corps for another um, eight years, and then uh, I decided to leave then and pursue a career outside. But yeah, oh yeah, you do miss the Corps. No two ways about it. I'm still in contact with loads of people. I continued having a very good career, and I would do it all again in a heartbeat. Did you make any lasting friendships on your Falklands deployment? Lifetime, lifetime friendships. You know, you, they are lifetime friendships. Uh, we've got a reunion coming up. We're looking forward to that. There'll be. Yeah, lots of port, lots of rum, lots of tears, and uh, lots of handshakes and hugs, yeah. like you do with these things. Yeah.